A world of ebooks, movies, magazines, and more awaits you at Salem South Lion District Library's website. With your library card, you can access all of these e resources for free from the comfort of your home. Simply go to ssldl.info and click Catalogs. From there, you can scroll and view your options. Each one offers different items. Canopy is a streaming service that offers independent movies, documentaries, and the great courses, all streamable for free using your Salem South Lion District Library card. To access Canopy, go to the library's website, ssldl.info, and click on Catalogs. You can also go directly to Canopy's website, kanopy.com. You can use Canopy from a computer. You can also install an app on your mobile device. Canopy has apps available for iOS, Android, and Kindle Fire devices. You can even set up Canopy to work with your television if you have, say, an Apple TV or a Roku or a Chromecast or any of these other devices. You can set up Canopy to stream directly to your television. I installed Canopy on my mobile device. I just went to the App Store and searched for Canopy with a K. And here's the welcome screen. I swiped through a few pages and eventually it brought me to the sign up or login page. If this is the very first time you've used Canopy, you'll hit the sign up button, which will bring you to a screen here. You can either sign up using your Facebook or Google account, or you can enter your information below. Here I'm helping Bob, our library gecko, sign up for his account. So we entered his first and last name, an email address, and then a password of his choosing. And then we hit sign up. And after that, Canopy sends an email with a verification link. You just click on that and you enter your library card number and you are all set to get started. So once you're signed in, you'll be brought to the main screen here. You can browse movies in a variety of categories by scrolling through. You can also use the navigation at the top. So in the left hand corner, there are three horizontal lines. This is the menu button. If you head toward the right at the top, you'll see that there's a number in a red box that shows how many play credits you have remaining for the month. Each library card has a certain number of play credits and each movie that you watch will use one play credit. So each month your total resets on the first of the month. Just as a note, if you watch one of these movies in the credit free viewing category, or if you watch a great course, or if you watch something with Canopy Kids, those don't count against your total allotment. So if you want to keep track of how many play credits you have, you can always see that number at the top in the red box. Next to the number, there's also a Chromecast button if you want to cast directly to your television, and there is a magnifying glass if you want to search for a specific title. So here I've clicked on the menu button on the left, and you can kind of see all these different categories. We've got the watch list. You can continue watching something you've already started. You can browse in a variety of categories. Toward the bottom, there's a button for your profile, settings, and linking your device. So I'm going to click on settings. And we have some options here. So for instance, if you wanted to only watch movies using your Wi-Fi rather than your cellular data, you can set that here. If the button is gray, that means it's off. So right now cellular data is off. If I were to press it, it would turn orange like this button below that would make it turn on. So if you don't want to use cellular data, make sure that that button is gray. Uh, below there's video quality, closed captions, and parental controls. So I clicked on video quality and you can set it so that it either automatically chooses the best quality that you can stream at a given time, or you can set it to use the basic mode, which will save on bandwidth. There's also a button for parental controls. If you want to set up a parental control pin, it gives you this link, canopy.com slash parental controls. You can set it up that way. So I've gone back to the main menu here, and there's a button that says link your device. If you click on that, your TV will display a code when you're trying to install, like for instance, the Roku channel, 
and you would just enter that code right here so that it will link your Canopy account with your device. So let's say you want to search for a specific movie. You would just hit the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of your screen and it brings you to a search page here. If you click on the search bar and start typing a title, like for instance, this one, Raging Grannies, Canopy will start auto-completing and trying to guess what movie you might want to watch. But if you just submit the search, it will give you some more options here. So as it turns out, my movie is the very first one listed. If I click on that, it will give me a little more information about the movie with a synopsis. And uh, there is a play button in the very center here. If you can see, I've zoomed it in a bit. It's just a big triangle. So if you press play, that will begin playing the movie and you'll start using one of your movie credits. So as you can see, my eight movies have become seven because I started playing this movie. Once you're actually watching the movie, there are some controls at the top and at the bottom of the screen. So first I'll just show at the bottom of the screen, there's this play bar. The, so the triangle will start playing a movie. Otherwise, if you press the two vertical lines, that will pause it. There is a 30 second rewind button with the circular arrow if you wanna go back 30 seconds and you can also advance you know, the point in the movie that you want to watch from this sliding bar here. At the top of the screen, there's that Chromecast button if you want to cast your movie to your television. And there is also a subtitles button, so if you hit that, you can turn captions on or off. This has been a brief overview of Canopy, offering tons of great movies. Have fun and happy watching!